In late October, the last holdout of the U.S. Treasury yield curve, three-month versus 10-year, inverted and now sits at negative 46 basis points. This is significant in that three-month versus 10-year is believed to be a favorite measure that the Federal Reserve looks at to determine the tightness of financial conditions. Two-year versus 10-year, another common measure, has been inverted since early July. A normal slope yield curve has longer-term bonds paying higher interest rate than shorter term. The higher rate is a reward for being willing to lock up your money for longer periods of time. Economists believe that an inversion of yields is a warning sign for a coming recession, as investment money seeks the safety of longer-term bonds, helping to keep those yields from rising while at the same time, in this instance, that the Federal Reserve is forcing up short-end rates through hikes. The yield curve is inverted before each recession dating back to 1955, with the recession starting between 6 and 24 months after the inversion. Ultimately, the curve's current lesson could be that the market believes that the Fed's aggressive hikes to fight inflation could lead to both recession and the need to quickly lower rates at some time in the future. Traders will be closely watching both Fed rhetoric and the pricing structure of Fed funds futures to get a picture of the coming path for rates.